Hello guys, today I would like to show you an add-on to Red Brush Eyes Meshes in Blender. It's an add-on really similar to the Quadro Maya tool and I think it's really powerful. I've been trying this add-on and it looks really really nice. So I'm gonna show you how to install the add-on and how to use it. So let's get started. Here I have my high poly model and the Red Apology that I've been uh, testing the, the add-on. So let's delete everything and I'm gonna show you from scratch how to use the, this add-on. The first step is to go to the extensions website from blender.org. Here you can look for polyquilt. This is the add-on. Click here and as always press get git add-on open Blender and click and drag this button into the, into the Blender viewport. I already installed the add-on, so I don't need it, but that's how you can install the add-on. The first step to use this add-on is to press Shift A and add a plane. Go to edit mode, delete the plane. The plane is there, so you can see this is the plane. Delete the vertices, so we don't we, we are not gonna need those vertices. Press polyquilt, enable the magnet button, and in the snap base options, activate the the face option. Also, you can work with symmetry and also enable the rotopology option. So so let's, let's, let's get started with the leg, for instance. Here you can just click and it will create a face. You can still do it the same. So you can create each face individually or you can click and drag over the, the edge and it will extrude a new face and here you can create an entire loop you can click and drag over any vertex to adjust the position if you don't want to see some vertices selected just press <coughs> A twice, there you go. Here you can tweak every vertex exactly as you need. And once you have one face loop, instead of clicking and dragging over the edge, one thing you can do is keep clicking over the button. You will see different options has, and one option is the polyquilt edge loop. Here you can extrude the entire edge loop like so. And you can extrude, for instance, like a very long like so for instance and then with control you could add different edge loops to the topology and then with shift you can smooth out the vertices so i think this is a really 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 a easy and fast way to retopologize things in blender i think this add-on is really really amazing really amazing here I have a, a mesh, the high poly mesh has 17, 17 million trees. So it's working really, really fast. Really, really fast. You can't imagine how good is this arrow. It's really, really amazing. 
to smooth out the vertices, press Shift and and left click and drag. So keep pressing Shift while you click and drag over the over the surface. So you can smooth out the the vertices. So this is really 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 fast. I think it's really 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 fast. So let's make the face so we can uh, try how to how you can do this also here. Maybe we you can click and drag and make like a long edge, and then you can press Control so you can add another edges between. Control click, Control click, click and drag. Click and drag. Also, if you need to orbit around this this part of the retopology, go to selection mode, select this part of the um, of the mesh, press uh, zoom to select it. This is the 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 dot in the numpad section in your keyboard. So now you can orbit around this part of the mesh. Get back to the um, polyquilt button, deselect everything with uh, A, pressing A twice, and you can keep working with the, your topology. We can drag, we can drag, here we can weld this together. Also, you can press over the edges to move them, or you can press over the vertex or over the face. Once we have this edge loop, something like something like this, we could extrude and create the second edge loop. Once you have the the topology ready, you can also press shift and click and it will create the face exactly the same as as Maya so really really useful also if you need to remove edges you can press ctrl shift and it will remove the edge if you press ctrl you can add an edge loop if you press if you click and drag over, over an edge and go over the vertex, you can remove the edge loop. Also, you can press Ctrl Shift, click and drag, and you can uh, delete the edge loop really, really uh, easy. Ctrl Shift, click and drag, Ctrl Shift, click and drag, Ctrl Shift, click and drag, and you can remove edges. If something happens and uh, maybe this side of the topology is not exactly the same as this one, I'm not sure if my model is exactly symmetrical because it's not symmetrical. <laughs> but if you need to make it symmetrical, just select everything and go to Mesh, Symmetrize, and it will make it exactly uh, symmetrical from one side to the other. Just uh, select the right axis and that will solve the, the issue. Then we have other options. For instance, you can with the with the main option you can do whatever you want. You can create the face, you can delete it with Ctrl Shift click, you can smooth out you can press Ctrl and add another loop. You could con you could press Ctrl Shift, click and drag and delete and delete the the edge loop. So you can do a lot of things. But the other options with the other options you can do just one thing. For instance, loop cuts. Or you could you can extrude the the edge loop also you can smooth the, the surface you can or just delete if you wanna just delete it could be 
eruption. So I think that this is a really, really good add-on. I hope it could be useful this uh, video to you guys. If you're looking for a retopologized tool similar to Quattro from Maya, I think this is a really, really good tool. It works, it works really fast. It has, I think, almost everything you need. So I hope you, you can try it and let me know what you think. Let's see you in the next video.